Hey guys, Mike here from Team Lucky 7 Gaming, here to explain fights of Directive 7 Hard Mode. Alright, for this first boss, basically, tank spank. Nothing really to it. Tanks just gotta hold aggro. The only type of adds that will come up are the Zeus turrets attacking my healer at the moment. So basically, one DPS, like I'm doing now, take them out, no big deal. They're only normals. And that is basically it. Alright, for the second boss really not hard at all all you have to do is uh, focus fire the one that does not have a shield so right now you can see as the one on the left and right have two shields shielding them so that means they will take reduced damage and one of them will not have a shield and as you saw right there uh, the shield switched from um, one bot to another so basically what you're going to be doing this entire fight is switching back and forth and back and forth and for the tank, uh, basically all he has to do is keep his AoE taunt on cooldown, uh, but I wouldn't really worry that much because these guys uh, don't even hit that hard. So, and that's basically it. Alright, time for the third boss. So basically with this boss, uh, there's only a small mechanic to it, um, but when you first start off, all the tank has to do is hold aggro, and as you can see right there, I have been scanned, and a cyborg replacement has been released. So, what the tank needs to do is as soon as that one of those doors, either on the left or right, open, the tank has to get off the uh, interrogator droid and go onto the elite that spawns. And he's just got to keep his aggro, because if not, that elite will just tear through your DPS and healer. Um, and as soon as you kill that gold, just hop back on the uh, droid and rinse and repeat. Now for boss number four. Alright, for this guy, it's a little more mechanics than the other bosses. So what you want to do is when the fight first starts off, you want to get both DPSs or your one DPS and a healer to go destroy those two generators on the side. Those are crucial to this fight. You need to have them destroyed. And also, there will be two repair droids that spawn. What your DPS need to do is burn them down as fast as possible. Because if you let the droids get to the generators and sit there for a certain amount of time, they will repair the generators and give the droid shields. And that's basically the job for the DPS. Now for the tank, what we like to do is turn him all the way around to where he is facing the red shield door. And we just do that to keep him away from the, or keep him from facing the other DPS and healer. And that's it for this fight. Alright, time for the fifth and final boss fight, the Mentor. Alright, what you want to do when you start out this fight is uh, your ranged DPS need to go over to where I am so you can line of sight the other turret that is directly across from this one we're fighting now. It does not matter which turret you destroy first, it just matters if you destroy them both. Also, someone on in your group will say will be targeted by the mentor's claw. Uh, red text will be on your screen and say so and so has been targeted by mentor's claw and basically what that person needs to do is uh, keep moving and don't stop and once you destroy both turrets it will say uh, one of the power cores I've ever heated. What you want to do is simply go over to the power core and click on it to destroy it and there will also be two small normal turrets there as well and then once you destroy the um, power, first power core there will be a champion mentor core guardian that spawns right at this little platform here and basically all you have to do is burn him down and also what you can do with mentors claw I don't think I show it right now but later in this in the clip uh, it'll show me CCing the claw to where you can actually stop it from following you and as soon as you kill the mentor guardian droid another processor will overheat and you will have to destroy it also once you destroy the second uh, 
processor. There will be uh, green reticles on the ground like you just saw. Uh, basically what you need to do is just not stand in them, obviously. And rinse and repeat for the fight. Now as soon as you uh, get the fourth processor core to overheat, you want to destroy it as fast as you can and then get to the front of Mentor because that is when you finish the fight and start to burn him down. And there will be a new attack that the Mentor does. It is a green laser that is extremely powerful. As you can see, it just took out one of our DPSs in a couple seconds. Um, so your healer needs to be on extra extra alert to watch for your party members and even if you have a sork like I am uh, give your healer a little help. Uh, mentor data core not very hard at all he gets burnt down pretty fast so yeah that's basically it uh, hope you enjoyed this commentary and enjoy your loot